Okay, I think it's kind of unfortunate that we have gotten to the point where um, Thanksgiving is so much just expected now. It's been so normalized and you know, standardized that uh, most people forget the namesake of like why we even have the, that um celebration of the harvest around uh harvest time around the autumn equinox and um well it's a name Thanksgiving so you know people say what they're thankful for and well my family doesn't I maybe some families do but um no not uh. So I just wanted to um go through the list of things I myself am thankful for. Now, what I would be most thankful for is the public library because they it's really um impressive or kind of surprising the uh, what kind of topics they cover. Um, they have books called The Idiot's Complete Guide to Alchemy. Um. There's one book, and uh, there were there were books on astrology. I, I didn't check those out, but um, oh, I got another book out called um, Forbidden History. It covered a bunch of um, conspiracy theories, everything from the Ark of the Covenant being like some like protection against radiation or nuclear attack or whatever, and um. All the way to uh, cattle mutilations. You know, in places like Colorado and South Dakota and some other, you know, like cow ranch to areas, um, they just find like the body of a cow or bull that has been mutilated and as if it was attacked by aliens or has its tongue cut out and there's some weird there's usually some weird like oily liquid stuff like near it like ectoplasm from extraterrestrials or whatever which uh i don't know that's i haven't looked into that much i haven't looked into that much but um and uh just thankful that they the, the public library had um books on just different fantasy and science fiction authors um and they had one on the Amish which, you know it's just culture of the fusion spread around the information or the different cultures and um see what else am I think for I'm thankful that my neighbor Irina is a lovely gardener and she her garden is very impressive like she has pear trees and cherry and peach and um tons of vegetables and um I'm thankful that I um came to understand the reality of what swordsman really is because to go through life without just knowing really why why the Jew started why they feel cutting gels. Well I, one thing I would like to know, I'd like to understand why is it that when a man when men convert to Judaism, he's like always required to shed blood from his gels, but um when women convert to Judaism it's not like they don't do that. No one would ever think about using sharp objects to hurt her so um yeah that kind of sucks out i wish i was born into a different um country that doesn't do that or unfortunately my mom is jewish which um let's see thankful for people like the nonprofit theater which is um, maybe like 30 minutes away from, so we've gone to plays there and 
everything. Um, I told that they had the um, Birds on Peace Chamber not too far from my house. Uh, which, you know, it's like the um, area, kind of like a reservation for Native Americans or where they can do their annual, uh, I guess, customs, which is like there's Sun Moon Dance in July, there's the um, Sand Hill Crane Dance and I think that's in February or I think February and um then the sweat lodges like uh, once a month and um the drum dance, lawn dance and so uh, it's nice to have that sort of place in Warwick County. Um uh, I'm thankful for having a good imagination because I you know aphantasia does affect some people. Some people do have Aphantasia, I've met people with, uh, I mean, to have infant aphantasia is to, like, it's impossible for them to have dreams, and it's, they, it's, they can't, they cannot visualize anything, so, it's, um, I'm glad I don't have that, um, I'm glad I wasn't born with Down syndrome, and, I actually, I don't know anyone who was born with that. Um, I'm, thankful for, I'm thankful that my family was relatively wealthy on the um, yeah, wealthier side. How we've been able to take trips to like um, Alaska, Hawaii, um, California. I mean, just, yeah, visiting my brother in California has not been, we can probably pretty much do that whenever we want we won pretty easy easily and um nor I've been in Norway, Sweden, Iceland and yeah, because Europe is uh well it's a much older culture than the United States obviously so um they they got things figured out more like surprisingly Iceland had the most um I think best vegan um, options like appeal to vegan or like despite Iceland probably having the most inhospitable climate of any place I've really been to or least um least favorable for like agriculture um Iceland was definitely yeah some more into the plant-based or vegan movement than much everywhere else except Hawaii which I guess yeah Hawaii was the exception because it's just they happen to be in a, a much more tropical location and I think they're in the most tropical place I've we've been to um like Australia was in like almost all desert and yeah Australia is has some rainforest but not really uh I mean, I didn't notice as many fruit trees. I remember in Hawaii, there were definitely lots of fruit trees growing wild. But um, in Australia, I don't, I don't think there were. And um, like most of the country, is not, it's not rainforest. It's just desert. Um, Yeah, so I'm thankful for a good memory. I have a really good memory. I'm thankful for being able to memorize all the uh, sigils and the methods for creating your own sigils and meanings like language. I, I have a talent for learning languages. So, like, I have started learning some Hebrew, not, not thanks to my Hebrew school, but my parents sent me to. You know, my my siblings did, you know, go to Hebrew school for just to get the um bar mitzvah or the bar bat, bat mitzvah. My my sister had bat mit bat mitzvah, and my dad had my brothers had bar mitzvah. I guess. And uh, but of course they don't know any. I don't think they know any Hebrew. Um, but you know, I who did not have a bar mitzvah, um. I know how to say, 
החתו של הלוח ואת חיפה שלי החדש. That means her cat does not like my new suit. Because, so, I know more than, uh, you know, the Hebrew school out of the synagogue. It's not about trying to learn how to speak Hebrew. It's not about, yeah, it's not about the language. It's about being able to have a bar bar mitzvah. Um, so, yes, I'm very thankful for my memory. I remember how to, um, the steps to making origami. I talked about that. Um, oh, I'm thankful that I stayed in Marching Man throughout high school. I'm thankful that I stuck with band. Because music is wonderful, wonderful gift to be able to do it. Um, Thankful that the United States has a large immigrant population and we're um, very accepting of that where each minority group can, you know, do their own uh, special, I guess, uh, original. They can offer their stuff like Hindus and Indians brought yoga and um you can meditation and also the restaurants, Indian restaurants and um, Chinese restaurants also like there's Chinatown and uh, probably other places that I not really thinking of right now. Um, I'm very glad I was born after the uh, point in history when germ theory was fully accepted by the scientific community because I know for much of human history, for most of human history, germ theory was like not they didn't really know what caused diseases. That's part of the reason why people thought masturbation was evil. They thought that was the cause of disease and well no, it's masturbation does not cause anything like hunchback or blindness or schizophrenia or whatever. Um, I'm glad I have the Healing Spirit Cafe in St. Peter's Village. It's really not that far from a Healing Spirit Cafe where we can, um, it's where I learned Reiki and I uh, learned that shamanic tradition of the, you know, full moon and new moon thing, the letter of intention. Um, I'm thankful that I had time to read most of uh, all the books I've read. I'm thankful for the OTO Ordo Templi or Ordo Templi Orianas. It's very uh I guess nice to attend their Gnostic Mass and oh I also went to Bodo meetings. Bota, B-O-T-A, that has a lot to do with tarot and builders of the DTEM. So, um, I guess I'll include any links in the description for those sorts of things. So, um, let's see, am I thankful for anything else? Um, probably, but I guess I'm thankful for YouTube and I'm thankful that. I live in a country where you can get interest for your bank account, just having, letting your savings just sit there in your bank account. So, um, yeah, remember from now on, uh, on Thanksgiving, remember to actually say what you're thankful for.